Good morning, everybody. So, sorry it's been a few days since I've done any videos. Uh, just, dude, my life gets crazy busy sometimes. I got four grandkids at home, and everybody's got different work schedules, and blah, it just gets nuts. But anyway, I'm back. Yes, I have a little bit of laryngitis. Don't freak out. I'm not sick. I get it every year. I have damaged my vocal cords from... Just years of having like the dry heaves when I get sick and uh, always getting like an upper respiratory thing every spring and fall. So now I just, when the weather changes, I get laryngitis. I can't help it. Anyway, it's no big deal. I promise. I'm still going to work and walk. So I'm going to go for a walk today. It's hard for me to video while I'm walking because I use an app called Map My Walk by Body Armor. And I noticed that if I try to video and use the app at the same time, for some reason it doesn't record the walk while I have the video camera running, which makes no sense to me. But I have, I am not very tech savvy. I mean, I know what I know, but most of the time, if I figure something out, it's just because I hit buttons until I figure something out. It's not because I actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> just being honest. So, I'm going to try to get a couple miles in today. I got my new hiking boots. Um, I think you say the company Xpeti or Zpeti. It's X-P-E-T-I. I don't know how you say that. They're awesome, though. I'm super happy with them. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook, I posted a picture of them there. If you don't follow me on Facebook, you should follow me on Facebook because I post probably more crap there than I do anywhere else. Somebody also told me I need to like start doing TikToks, you know, and getting that up and going. So I'll I'll try to work on that. Uh, again, I got four grandbabies at home, and it's sometimes it gets hectic, man. I got, you know, I help take care of them while their mom works at night or whatever, and whoa, they get some. They're crazy. <laughs> if you've met my grandkids, you know they're crazy. My neighbors around here call them the feral children. <laughs> so, um. They uh they are definitely country little hillbilly babies, even though we live in the flatlands of Indiana. <laughs> They're still hillbillies. Um, but that's all good. I don't mind them being little hillbilly babies. I teach them everything I know. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm trying to get used to this talking to the camera thing. I'm not always real good at it. I ramble on sometimes, as you probably notice. Uh, I'm working on that, okay, because I really need some followers here. I would really like for people to follow me along on my journey to the AT. Um, I go March 28th for blood work and then April 3rd for a doctor's appointment. The last time I went to the doctor was in January, so my goal was to be down 36 pounds from January to April. I don't know, man. I I'm struggling with something that I, I know seems really weird when you look at me and you see that I'm overweight, but I don't eat enough. And I don't eat enough calories to promote weight loss. It was always beat into my head as a child to be thin, to exercise, to not eat too much, to exercise, to not eat too much, to exercise, not eat too much. You know, like the goal was don't be a fat person. Don't look at me. You know, so when I was a teenager and stuff, I was a real gym rat. I loved being in the gym. Loved to My Aunt Sandy and I used to go to the gym all the time when I was a teenager. I was a cyclist. I'd ride my bike 40, 50 miles a day. I did a lot. And then after I had my son at 18, you know, obviously raising a baby and stuff like that, it changed the dynamic of a lot of stuff. And I figure around the time I was 19, my thyroid probably started going bad, but I didn't know. I didn't know. I couldn't figure out why I was eating 500 calories a day and gaining weight uncontrollably. Like, I was on such a strict... I have starved myself for over 30 years to the point where I eat one meal a day and I can't get myself out of that cycle. I'm having a really hard time. Now, I just ate some lunch. I did not eat breakfast today because I just don't have the desire to get up and eat. 
I know I should. I'm working on it. It's This is the hardest part of my journey is getting my food intake right. Because if I don't get this right now out on the trail, I really will starve to death. Because I'll be burning off way the hell more calories than what I'm taking in. And so I've got to work on getting that figured out. Um, so I just had three eggs that I air fried with some cheddar cheese on some 15 grain uh, thin sliced bread. Sorry, three slices of 15 grain bread, three eggs with cheese on them. Pretty good. My blood sugar was only at like 90 or something before I ate. So, you know, I knew I had to get some carbs in me. That's the other thing. I've done such a good job of bringing my blood sugar down that I've done too good of a job of bringing my blood sugar down. So now my average blood sugar is right around 100 to 107 on a daily basis. And that's super good. But I drop really low a lot. Um, my alarm was going off in the middle of the night and it was down in the 40s. Which for the first time ever, it was low enough that when I got up, it actually made me feel a little wonky. Um, but I ate some pineapple and I had a couple pieces of that 15 grain bread with some cream cheese and some uh, sugarless strawberry preserves on it. Um, just for the natural sugars in the strawberries and then, of course, the carbs in the bread. Um, and it brought it up to around 90 or so and then it stayed fairly steady all night. But, um, and then again this morning it was down a little bit and then it dropped down to like 68. My alarm went off and I drank my coffee, which brought it back up again to around 90. So... Like, I've done really good bringing it down, but now it's balancing bringing it back up just a hair. <laughs> like, maybe adding some things back to my diet that I've taken away. Still trying to stay sugar-free. And balance everything so that I'm getting enough calories, which I definitely don't. Um, I know it, I know you would not, look at me, I'm so fat. 